All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Blackhawk Technical College for the 152-147 Relational Database Development Online Class <clears throat> for the uh, spring 2016 semester. What I'm going to do right now, at least, is to attempt to show you how to set the databases up that you will need. So let's assume that you don't know how to get into the virtual desktop. So you can click the Start button, go to All Programs, go down near the bottom and find VMware and then select virtual or VMware horizon, horizon, horizon client. Double click on the icon that comes up. Log in like you would log in normally. Choose the student development desktop, which probably is the only one you'll have available, and that'll get you into your virtual desktop. Now you might say, well, that hasn't changed, Jeff. Yes, it has. If you take a look on here, of course it has. All right, let me close this down to show you how to start up everything. All right, so I don't need this. I've got a bunch of stuff up here that I really don't need, so I'm going to close it. All right, so I'm into the virtual desktop, and you go, you're just on your regular desktop. No, there's my regular desktop that I just got out of right there and there's my virtual desktop. You can click up here and you can use the minus to get back to your regular desktop and then the icon down at the bottom to get to your virtual desktop. Once you're in the virtual desktop, <clears throat> I'd suggest you go to Start, go again to All Programs and go down to the very bottom and find XAMPP. And under XAMPP, go ahead and click that and find the thing that says XAMPP Control Panel. Click on that this will start up XAMPP for you. You'll want to click the Start button. That'll start up the Apache web server. And you'll want to click the MySQL button. Once they both turn green, you're up and running. So you can just minimize that for right now. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is to come in here. I'm going to go out to the P drive for the class. And I'm going to go out to uh, let's see, source code, database setup. I think that's the one. So I'm going to right mouse click, drag that up here. So I'm going to copy that up to here. All right, and what do we have here? Well, we've got a bunch of files that will create a bunch of stuff for us. So let's look at each one of these files. So I'm going to bring each one of them up in Notepad++. All right, the first one says create databases. <clears throat> and that will create a database AP, which is our accounts payable database. So that'll create all of the tables. And it'll put, as you can see, it'll go in and it'll put data in there for us. So I definitely want that one. Update root password, I don't want to do that one. All right, so just leave that one alone. Create DBOM. This creates only the order management database. This will create the examples database, and this will create the AP database. All right. So I got my choice. I guess I can come in here and create. I don't know if this creates all of them or what. So I'll tell you what. I'll do these individually. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this file, this file here that's called create underscore db underscore ap dot sql. I'm going to highlight everything in the file. So I'm going to do a control A, control C. All right. Then I'm going to go into, I'm in my virtual desktop. So I'm going to go in here into XAMPP and I'm going to click where it says shell. I'm going to click right there and that's going to allow me to start up MySQL in just a minute. To do that, I have to type in MySQL space minus U, no space, R-O-O-T. So I'll leave that up there. My S, all in lowercase, MySQL space minus U root. So I'm logging into MySQL as the root user. Hit enter, and now I'm in. All right, I want to make sure I don't have a database named AP, so I'm just going to type in show databases. You don't have to do this. <clears throat> You'll notice I don't have one called AP. So I'm going to grab all that information I just put in. I'm going to right mouse click and choose paste. Don't do a control V because it doesn't work. 
but right mouse click on here, choose paste, and that's going to create the entire, so that created the database for me. If you, if you say no, it didn't. All right, how about this? Show databases. And there's, <clears throat> well, at least I thought it was going to create the AP database for me. Hmm. Well, then let's do this. We'll do it this way. What I'll do is I'll grab everything in here to create all of it and not put in the data yet. All right, shouldn't have to do this. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. So let me even close this. All right, so I grabbed everything up to my insert statements. I'm again going to come in here and click Shell, my SQL minus U root like you just saw. Right mouse click and paste. <clears throat> now let's see, show databases. Still not showing me that AP database. It says it's not known, so what is wrong with this? Fully. <clears throat> Let's try just grabbing that. It's not allowing me to create a database on here. Hmm. How about this? I just type in create database. AP. Now it's showing. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Copy. It's not recognizing what's in here, and I don't know why. Use AP. Okay, well that's my database. Show tables. It should be empty, and it is. So I should be able to come in here now and add all of these tables. Copy. Paste. Seeing zero rows affected, well, show tables. All right, so it did put in those tables. That's good. Now I want to try to start putting in some data into those tables. So I'll just grab these two. Copy. Paste. All right, so it did put, those, it put that information in. Paste. Error. Context does, does not exist. Well, that's interesting. Got vendors and I've got vendor contacts. So let's try. Never had this problem before. might get a bunch of beeps because this stuff might have already been put into the system. Okay, so that's that's already in there. All right, let's see if it didn't like this particular table. All right, show tables. So I've got general ledger accounts, Invoice items. I don't have a vendor 
contacts table. So what happened to my vendor contacts table? I've got general ledger contacts, terms, vendors, invoices, invoice line items. It looks like it didn't take this one. Well, if it didn't take that one, it probably didn't take the following one either. All right, show tables. Now they should all be in there. Like I said, no clue as to why this stuff is happening like this. I've never, ever, ever had a problem with it before. Right, that put everything in it looks like 114 records as you can see right there and if this works it should say that it put in again 114 records all right I don't want any of this grant stuff on the bottom I don't know if that goofed it up but that shouldn't have 118 records. Okay, no problem. All right. I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to try to come in here, see how much of this I can put in. This is a shorter file, I know that. I'm going to try to grab all of it. Copy it to the clipboard, see if I can paste that in. Okay, I've got an AP database. Uh, that was my other one. And what I just tried to create right here was EX for the examples, and I didn't see that in there. There is no EX. Boy, this is not working well. There's EX, so it's back. See if I can create the tables. There's my, oops. Use EX show tables. Oops. I want that show tables. Okay, it put in null sample. But it didn't put in any of the rest of them. Syntax. Fantastic.
Miles Plea and only 73 records. Okay. All right. So that's that database. Finally, I want to create the OM database. Now, you can see the problems I'm having. I guess I would suggest that what you do they talk about how to create the databases for the book on pages 562, 563, and 564. All right. Probably rather than following my goofy advice right here, I would suggest that you do that. So I believe that right now I have created everything that, that belongs in those databases. All right. It's not like I can just take these files and copy them to you because that's not the way internally this stuff works. So again, I would strongly recommend that you go in and take a look at what's in the book. All right, you've got the PowerPoints, but I believe the PowerPoints don't have Appendix A in there. I can check, but I don't believe they're there. Because in Appendix A in the book, the author explains in much more depth and breadth of coverage than I just did. No, they're not in there. How to set up the databases. Okay? All right. That's enough for this lecture.